Hello, my name is Kelly McCown. I'm a teacher, author, and owner of Teaching Math and More, LLC. Today on the Teaching Math and More channel, we are talking about how to set up your math centers to engage your students in review, practice, and applications of math skills. Where do you start? When setting up your math centers, start with the end result in mind. What math skills do you want your students to master? Math centers are a way to review and master math skills with your students in a meaningful way. Setting up your math centers doesn't have to be stressful or overwhelming. Let's look at the following steps for math center success in your classroom. Math centers, also known as math stations, are learning centers in your classroom that help students practice math skills. Math centers provide an opportunity for students to independently or in small groups work together to solve problems. While students are working, the teacher is the facilitator in the process. The teacher can choose to circulate the room by walking around and monitoring student progress or work from a teacher center group only. It's important to note that the purpose of centers is to review, not teach new concepts. Number one, choose your centers. When doing centers for review, it's important to take into account how many students you have in your classroom and how many math centers you want to have. A good rule of thumb is no more than four students at a math center. For example, if I have 24 kids in my classroom, I would need six math centers. Now that you have an estimate of how many students and centers you need, what do you choose for the math centers? There are many ways to differentiate your math review with math centers. Here are some center ideas. An activity, applications, game, practice, word problems, seat work, technology, vocabulary, or a teacher center. Here's an example of what a math center rotation chart looks like on the left. You have six math centers and each station is 15 minutes long. When students rotate, they go to the next math center. And this is a rotation in order from one to six. So center one would move to center two, two to three, three to four, four to five, five to six, and then six would move to back to one. Each activity is different and is only 15 minutes worth of work for students. Number two, choose your review. Now that you've chosen your math center structure, let's look at what to do at each center for math review. From the center ideas given in step one, you have chosen which ones you would like to execute. The next step is to pick an activity that reviews one specific math skill. Each center task card should have clear instructions and a goal of mastering one specific math skill. Choose which one skill your students need to review for your grade level. Number three, prep your centers. Get and gather your materials together for your math centers. Print all the task cards, center instructions, and table tents necessary for setting up your classroom math centers. Have them ready to go in a prep box as shown here. This helps save time when your materials are ready to go all in one storage place. Here's one of the math center organization kits. This one is for fifth grade and includes all of the labels, checklist of fifth grade math skills. It's also available for grades six, seven, and eighth math stations. Organizing your math centers and stations can save you time in the future and your future self will thank you. Number four, set procedures. Before you begin letting students do each math center activity, set the procedures for how your math centers will run in the classroom. Explain your expectations for math centers. Be explicit about any rules you want your students to follow. Practice or role play moving from one rotation of math centers to the other with your students. This will allow for them to see and understand how to properly rotate from one center to another. Here are my math center procedures. Number one, stay seated at your center. Number two, use your indoor voice. Number three, be respectful of your classmates. Number four, use your time wisely. You only have the time given at your math center. And number five, ask three before me. And if you haven't heard that rule before, it means ask three classmates before asking the teacher what to do, or if you have a question about something in general, ask three classmates before me. And number five, flexible math centers. Last but not least, 
be flexible with your mass center choices. If you decide that one type of mass center does not work well with your students, you can remove it. You can always switch out and change mass centers. Be flexible in regards to the big picture. Ask yourself, does this mass center help my students review the concept? If it does, great. If not, then find another type of activity that will. Mass center tips. When going through the process of mass centers for the first time, you may have some questions about how to run centers more smoothly. Here are some tips that have helped students stay on task and be more engaged in math centers in the classroom. Number one, be consistent with your procedures. Students love and need structure. They may complain about it, but they love it and they need it. Math centers provides that for students. They know exactly what to do, what to work on at a math center, and once the routine gets going, that consistency helps them review math skills and they become more proficient in your classroom. Number two, use only whiteboards at the teacher station. Students love to write on whiteboards. And as a result, writing on a whiteboard with a dry erase marker can be seen as an incentive or a reward for students to work with a teacher and solve math problems. Number three, use a technology station. This is my best station in the classroom. Students are challenged at this technology center. Does your classroom have a subscription to a math website? Use this center time for the students to log in and solve math problems on their level. This is great for remediation and it's an easy math intervention to set up in your classroom. There is a solution to the problem of reviewing key math skills. Try a differentiated math center activity. There are plenty to choose from in the Teaching Math and More shop for your kids. You can plan for a day or two of math practice and review. Your kids will enjoy the independence and working in small groups. Math centers are a very powerful tool for students. It helps students make sense of a math skill in many different ways, from vocabulary to applications and word problems. There are so many good aspects to math centers to love. The most important part is to invite your students to have fun at each center and enjoy doing the activities as they move throughout your classroom. For more information about any of these math center activities, be sure to check out the Teaching Math and More shop. Save 25% off the Math Center's Organization Kit when you sign up for the weekly Teaching Math and More newsletter. Be sure to sign up in the description of this video. Thanks for subscribing to our channel and we'll see you next week.